everybody. We are going to be reading Genesis 5. This is the written account of Adam's family line. When God created mankind, he made them in, like, in the likeness of God. He created them, male and female, and blessed them. He named them mankind, and they were created. When Adam had lived 130 years, he had a son in his own likeness in his own image and he named him Seth. After Seth was born Adam lived 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether Adam lived a total of 930 years and then he died. When Seth had lived 105 years, he became the father of Enosh. After he became the father of Enosh, Seth lived 108 year, or 107 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Seth lived a total of 912 years and then he died looking for something like this when Enosh had lived 90 years he became the father of Kenan after he became the father of Kenan Enosh lived 815 years and had other sons and daughters. <clears throat> Altogether, Enosh lived a total of 905 years and then he died. <clears throat> when Kenan had lived 70 years, he became the father of Mahalele, Mahalel, Mahalalel, that's the name of it. After he became the father of Mahalalel, Kenan became, lived 840 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Kenan lived 910 years and then he died. When Mahalalel had lived 65 years, he became the father of Jared. After he became the father of Jared, he lived 830 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, he lived a total of 895 years. When Jared had lived 162 years, he became the father of Enoch. And after he became the father of Enoch, Jared lived 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Jared lived a total of 962 years and then he died. After he became, or when Enoch lived 65 years, he became the father of Methuselah. 
After he became the father of Methuselah, Enoch walked faithfully with God 300 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Enoch lived a total of 365 years. Enoch walked faithfully with God. Then he was no more because God took him away. When Methuselah had lived 187 years, he became the father of Lamech. After he became the father of Lamech, Methuselah lived 782 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Methuselah lived a total of 969 years, and then he died. When Lamech had lived 182 years, he had a son. He had named him Noah and said, He will comfort us in the labor and pain, toil of our hands caused by the ground the Lord has cursed. After Noah was born, Lamech lived 595 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Lamech lived a total of 777 years, and then he died. After Noah was 500 years old, he became the father of Shem, Ham, and Japheth. <laughs>